What's good YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to give you the next episode of MTG Arena, where I go online with one of my decks and we can see if we can get some wins. In this one, I'm taking my mouse deck into Historic, because I've built a Historic version. Let's get into this. Alright, so the last MTG Arena video I did was my new mouse deck, which is part of the new uh, Bloomborough update. Um, but I have created a historic version of the deck. Uh, so from the last video, I had someone uh, join into my group Discord, which you can join, by the way, the link's down below, um, asking for the deck list. So I'll just show it in the video. I'll show it at the end of the video before we end. Uh, but I literally just got done recording this episode. But the duel I was in was terrible. It was boring. Like the guy or girl, whoever... You know, they basically just had a bunch of board wipes, and that was it. It wasn't much in the way of anything else, which is kind of sad. So, we're going to go ahead, and that's a much better hand. There we go. Uh, get rid of that for now. I don't need three land out the gate. I'm in Mythic rank. Uh, they're on 85% through Mythic. I'm 88%, which is nice. Oh, that's a haystack. Okay, that's fine. Nope. Uh, actually, we're going to use that. It's going to do with the damage. Beautiful. Then we're going to go with Monstrous Rage. Boom. Eat the five. Okay, more haste, fine. Even more haste, damn. <laughs> yeah, this is like full force haste. All right, I'm okay with that, actually. Sure, we'll get rid of one of them. Why not? Parry's effect, it's going to trigger my Valiant. Well, this is going to be a quick duel. Unless they could pull something really powerful out. They aren't doing much in the way of anything. The thing with haste decks is they're fine up until the point you can out damage them. Destroy it, you'll take five. So go for it. The thing with Heartfire Hero is the moment you destroy it, you, the opponent takes the damage. You're going to do it. So you're going to take the five. Eat five damage. Doink. Like, you're going to sit there and numb the five damage. I am okay with that. No, I'm not blocking. Why would I block that? <laughs> nice. And we basically win right here. I, I literally have one more turn, and then I basically win. Unless they could pull, like, a massive rabbit out of their hat. But even then... Because all I have to do is put the counter on Prairie and then that's it. I can fly over, so. Oh yeah, I, I literally just went here. Put it on Prairie. Sure, put that. It doesn't matter, you can block Ember Heart, but you can't block my Prairie. So... That was a very quick duel. Unless they've got a way to block me. No, they don't. <laughs> to be fair, I do love making fun at haste. Because, like, you see haste all the time. Especially in alchemy. Like, you'll see it a lot. Um, but it's one of those deck types that you just see a lot of. And I just love taking them out. It's kind of the same with stuff like mill. Like, you do see a lot of mill decks. Especially in historic, where they're kind of prevalent. They're powerful. I uh, will hop into another game because that was barely anything. Is that 91%? Yeah, they're 91% through Mythic. Damn. That's an okay hand. I've got four land, the one ring, which is great for draw power. And I start with a monster. That's actually not terrible. 
And I've got my two copies of Lupin Flower as well, which is great land for this deck. Like, for this de deck specifically, it's good land. I'm hoping I get turn one, but they, they get turn one, which is annoying. Not bad. Running. Okay, they're running fire as well. That's fine. Red mana is absolutely fine. There's nothing inherently bad about red mana. Oh, you're going to take it out? No? Okay. Picnic Runner. What on earth is that? Control a creature with power four. Well, that doesn't matter. Okay. Go, Prairie! I love Valiant. Valiant's such a cool little card effect. Like, it's such a cool little card effect. So basically, when you, whenever you target my card with any kind of card that doesn't destroy it, it'll get Valiant, which means it goes up one point. Uh, okay, that's fine. I have no intention of blocking. So, go for it. Monstrous Rage. Also not you as well. Do to do, do boink. So go ahead, destroy my Heartfire Hero. You'll take the six. <laughs> Which basically kind of puts you up Crap Creek. Because next turn I'm gonna activate one ring and just start my draw engine if I need to. Like I love this deck way too much. It's just too fun. Like, it gets powerful really quickly without being a full haste deck. Fine. I also love how, like, every sort of, like, priority red deck will run this card. It's a good card, don't get me wrong. I do not run it, but... That's fine also. Uh, I'm gonna double strength. Fine. Whatever. We'll just go with that. It's going to do Trample, but... Oh! Spicy Meatball. Doesn't matter. They basically lose because of this card. I literally just need to draw one single card that I can activate from that. Beautiful. We win. Doink. <laughs> that was a close one, though. They almost got me. Slickshaw, Slack Off, or whatever it's called, is a powerful card. It's a great way to do a lot of damage very quickly, but at the same time, if you can out-damage, you're fine. Like, there I can out-damage. The mouse deck is designed to do it, so I can take on haste, usually no issue. Providing I draw the decent amount of cards I need at the start. Uh, but we're on three of... Right... Show the card without doing any of that. There we go. Uh, Flowerfoot Sword Master I run three of. I run four copies of Barge in. Four copies of Heartfire Hero. Three copies of Monstrous Rage. Three copies of Shove Aside. Uh, there's no more in that row. Fine. Uh, three copies of Prairie Survivalist. Four copies of Ember Heart Challenger. Three copies of Manifold Mouse. Four copies of Recruit Instructor, which is the bread and butter of this deck. Uh, three copies of the One Ring, purely for Draw Engine. Uh, two copies of Lupin Flower Village. Six Plains. Seven Mountains. Three Abraded Bluffs. Four Clifftop Retreats. Uh, one Sundown Pass. One Windscarred Crag. And two Fable Passage. So that's the deck I've got. And as you can see, it works pretty darn well. You can get powerful very freaking fast. Uh, but yeah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget I do live stream. When I go live, I go live here on YouTube and over on Twitch and on TikTok all at the same time. My streams here on YouTube are in the shorts form, feed some more for mobile. But if you want to catch the exact same streams at the exact same time in full 1080p, then go ahead and join me on Twitch and TikTok. Those links are down below. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member from as little as 99 pence per month.